So uh, this dystopian thriller, Snowpiercer, is off and running for its second season. And when you hear the words dystopian thriller, you know it's right up Cody oh, yeah. Alley. <laughs> Standing by with two of the stars from the show. I sat in a room for 14 hours in Comic-Con. Remember Comic-Con when we could have Remember fun? That? Just to see this panel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> joining us now, we have the lovely Mickey Summer <laughs> and Lena Hall joining us now. <laughs> Before we get started, <laughs> Lena... <Yeah. laughs> The last episode, you did a hauntingly beautiful performance of Portishead's, what was it, Glory Box? It took me three yeah. hours mm -hmm. to watch that episode. I kept rewinding it over and over again. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's I mean, awesome. It was gorgeous. And the work you put in that last episode, I'm going to go ahead and give you an Emmy now because anybody that sees that performance and what your character <laughs> went through in that episode, they just need to give you the award. So, what did you have to do to get in that mindset for that episode? <laughs> Uh, I listened to a lot of music. Mostly, I listened to um, a beautiful um, aria uh, called um, Dido's Lament, uh, which uh, is a hauntingly gorgeous aria. And for me, music takes me into a mindset that I need to be in, whether it's you know getting pumped to work out. <sighs> Or uh, d digging deep into my trauma and um, finding that uh, that those moments that really uh, help push the storyline forward uh, and get me into character and into the mindset. It was pretty tough. Um, I've never really had to do something like that before, so it was a challenge. Um, but. Uh, but I'm I'm thrilled with how it came out because I was very nervous uh, to have such an incredible and beautifully written script in my hands and the fact that they used different aspects of what I do. So I used to be a ballerina and they use that part um, to tell a story. I even got uh, my father, he's a choreographer, and so they um, let my dad choreograph the piece oh, for cool. me, which even made it more wow. emotional and means so much more. So, um, and then of course, Glory Box was a song that I listened to in high school, like nonstop. And, uh, <laughs> and so it also was an emotionally resonant for me. And the cool thing was that Snowpiercer actually allowed me to uh, bring my hands in and orchestrate it as well. So I helped with the arrangement that you heard as well. So it was a very personal, um, very heartfelt uh, um, episode for oh, me. It was it was stunning. It was absolutely stunning. And, and I, I've enjoyed both seasons. I, I, it's been the perfect nihilism for this COVID situation for me, quite honestly. I don't know why, but it really has helped me through this. Uh, but that last episode, both of you were doing work. Uh, Mickey, uh, congratulations, I guess, about your promotion to a uh, you know, trained detective. <laughs> I was struck by something. Yeah. As yeah, you were, I think it's been... I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt you, but I was struck by something in the last episode. You had to get from one place to another on the train. How do you guys choreograph those moves? Because it's like tight, tight little spaces. I mean, it's a train, for goodness sakes. And there's people everywhere, but you were like zipping through people. Is there somebody with like a, you know, light sticks or something going, clear, go, go, go? No, I think that uh, they sort of, uh, I, I developed this um, train swagger um, for Till, like, you know, you just know that you have to go from A to B and you kind of just plow through. Um, and we have an amazing camera team. I don't know how they do it going down the corridors backwards, you know, like with that camera, heavy cameras. And uh, they are really like the true geniuses uh, uh, on, on the train. I got to tell you, uh, I, this season has even blown away my expectations. It has been amazing. And we're so close with David Diggs. We could have like a new Broadway show. Can we have Snowpiercer the musical soon? Yeah. <laughs> we talk about it all the time. We do. We talk about having a musical episode. I'm in. I'm totally in. Thank you again. <laughs> Snowpiercer, it's on TNT. I'm telling you, it is fantastic television if you